Okay, like any of the videos, treat these as a series of experiments to test and implement in your own game. Some of these ideas will work for you, some will not. Uh, this video is based on the research from uh, two guests on the podcast, Dave Allred and Dr. Nikki Lum. Okay, so let's start with the most important element when working on mastering your wedge game from 125 yards and in. And probably the most important thing to master is distance control. If you are pin high, you're never going to be too far away from the hole. So how do you master your distance control? Well, the best way to do is to start off with uh, selecting your wedges. Um, in my bag, I carry four wedges, a pitching wedge, a 52, a 56 and a 60. That's not necessarily that you need to do that, but I would certainly recommend at least having three. And the best way to go about figuring out the distances for each one of these clubs is to take about 15 to 20 balls uh, to a range where you can use your own balls and really work on your yardages. So some people break this down into a clock-like manner where you would swing at sort of a 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock and a 12 o'clock. Uh, I don't personally like that. Uh, I like chest, shoulders and head. So it simply means I'm just taking the club back to my chest, that would be one shot, uh, to my shoulders and to my head for each one of the four wedges. And I again would be hitting 20 balls with each shot to each wedge and that would give me a series of different yardages for all of my wedges. Now that sounds like a lot of work uh, but no one said this game was easy and it's practicing like that in that very structured format where you're going to get a lot out of your game. So identify where the balls are landing uh, for each given swing with each different club and then you want to store this information down on a note card or uh, on the back of your shafts is another good idea. So um, what you can do is just write down um, the, the three different positions. So on here you can see I've got uh, chest, uh, shoulders and my go-to position which is just over my head or you could perhaps write it in a notebook uh, which you could carry around in your bag. You don't necessarily want all this information stored in your head so debunk it, deload it off your brain and get it down on paper so when you're in a given situation on a golf course and you're faced with a yardage you can just look up that number and what position you need to be in and execute it uh, efficiently. Okay so here we are presented with a given opportunity on a golf course and uh, the first thing we're going to do is take the, the distance of the shot. So I'm using uh, like a Bushnell or Nikon to gather that information. So it is 67 yards. So I know that this shot uh, is, a, is about a chest position with my 52 degree wedge. And I also know from having hit this shot many times in the past that I will hit it probably 70% of the time, just slightly right of the target and usually about a couple of yards short. So again, you can gather all of this information the more times you play and practice this shot. So let's give it a go. It's going to be uh, around about a chest position. So around about here and uh, at a medium like tempo. Okay, so if you implement and practice uh, in those specific routines and manners, I promise you, you're going to be 99% better off than all the golfers at your golf club or in a, in a competition or anything. Meaninglessly hitting balls at a golf club or driving range without any pressure or principles behind your practice uh, will lead to very vague results. So getting very detailed oriented about what you're doing and looking up the research of the likes of Dave Allred, uh, Nicky Lum, the likes of Gary Smith. There's a consistency with all of the great coaches. Uh, so give it a try and uh, best of luck and let me know how you get on. I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, if you want to learn even more from the show, feel free to head over to makingaclubchampion.com where I feature some of the up and coming 
uh, European tour golfers and to the leading golf coaches in the world of golf. Uh, from very specific advice of how to structure your time on a range to implementing pressure around your short game uh, to how you should spend time in the gym and specific nutrition advice. Feel free to head over to makingaclubchampion.com where you'll find lots of actionable tools and insights from some of the best coaches and players in the world of golf.